Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to very quickly insert an image into a shape in Photoshop. So I have the image open that I want to use, so I'm going to create a brand new file for the actual project. I want a square image in this case. I'm creating something that's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. Here is the layers palette. I've got it open here. You can get to it by choosing window and then layers. So that we can have an editable background here, I'm going to choose layer, new fill layer, solid color and click OK. The benefit of this is that we can experiment with the colors that we're using and we can easily update them later on. So I'm just doing a blue background at this stage. Now I'm going to put my shape in. So I'm going to select in this case an ellipse, but it could be any shape at all. And it could also be a custom shape. So if you've got shapes in Photoshop that perhaps you want to use, you could select a custom shape as well. I'm just going to do a ellipse here. So I'm going to make it a circle by holding the shift key as I drag out a circle. So this is my ellipse. I want a fill on it, but I don't want a stroke. So I'm going up here to the top panel and I'm going to add a fill to this. Even though the fill is going to be sacrificed in the process, I'm going to make a fill, but I'm going to remove the stroke. So basically this is what my circle looks like and I can place it anywhere in the document. I can also make it larger at this stage if I want to. Just going to drag on it to make it a little bit bigger. Now let's go and get our image. So this is the image I want to use. I'm just going to drag it out of here, drag it out and drop it on top of my new image. Now if I hold the shift key, it's going to be centered in here. Now right now this image is way bigger than the image I'm working in. So I'm going to press two keystrokes, control T and then control zero. And the combination of control T and control zero is going to make my document big enough that I can see these handles at the edge and it's going to make the handles visible. So I'm going to start dragging in on those and then moving my shape into position. So I want my image to be smaller and I want it to fit over the top of this circle because that's where it's going in just a minute. So let's just do that for now. And what I'm going to do is make what's called a clipping mask. So I'm going to clip this shape to this shape. So to do that, the easiest way is to select this topmost layer and go to layer, create clipping mask. And that just clips this shape to the shape of the shape underneath, the circle underneath. Now the beauty of this is that if I select this layer here, I can move my image inside there and I can also resize it. So if I want it to be a bit smaller, I can make it a bit smaller. If I want it to be a bit larger, I can make it a bit larger. So I can place it exactly where I want it. So that is probably the quickest and easiest way to place a image inside any shape that you like in Photoshop. This has got to be the shape layer. This is the image you're putting into it and you're creating this as a clipping mask. Now, as I said before, creating this color solid fill layer is a really good idea. It's going to double click on this and this opens up this dialogue again. So now I can go and experiment and create different colors for the edge here. And I can experiment with them against the basic shape and that's going to give me a bit more flexibility in creating my design. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.